What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. I got an exciting video today, a fun video, video that I have been excited about. Uh, I mentioned Info Hub a little while back, a few videos ago, and today's the day we're going to be installing Info Hub on some of my equipment. I'm not sure exactly uh, what we're all going to get installed today, but we are going to walk through the process with you guys, and you're going to meet some of the folks over at Briggs and Stratton, uh, more specifically with the Info Hub group. But uh, you're going to meet some of those folks today, and like I said, we're going to be installing Info Hub on some of my equipment. So it should be fun. They should be here any minute. All right guys, so I'm here with Jason from Info Hub and he's gonna walk through exactly what Info Hub is and what it can do for you. Info Hub is a product that is designed by Briggs & Stratton Corporation. And what it does is, is asset tracking. Uh, it also helps with reporting, uh, engine reporting, things like that. Uh, what it's gonna do for you and your business is gonna make you more efficient, it's gonna put more money in your pocket. Those are the two things that every landscaper I've talked to, they're always interested in those two things, and this is the product that can do it. I've been in this business for 20 years. Alex has been in the business a long time. Uh, I've used it on, on my equipment when I was still in, in the landscaping business. Uh, so I can tell you, I can promise you that this is something that you're gonna wanna check out. I think the most important thing for you guys at home that don't really know all about this product is the first thing is it can be installed on any piece of equipment that has a battery and has a spark plug. So whether it's a truck, diesel or gas, whether it's a mower, gas mower, a diesel bobcat, doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter what style, and then we have a skag mower over there as well. So anything that you can think of in your business, it can go on. So if, you, yeah, so if you're in the landscaping business, hardscaping business, lawn care business, really any business that has machinery that's out there making you money, this will work. Like you said, anything that has spark in a battery, you can use it on. We've got a GMC, which is a diesel. We've got a Ferris, which is a gas. We've got a Bobcat skid steer, which is obviously diesel. And then we've got a Skag mower over here, which is another gas. So you got four different brands and you've got two diesels and two gas. So anything that you have that is making you money, like I said, any engine that's making you money, this product will work. All right, so the first machine we're gonna hook up is gonna be the Skag Tiger Cat. And here is our unit for that mower. It's literally three connections. You have your negative for your battery, your positive for your battery, which comes with an inline fuse, all the powers of one amp in there. And then you've got this wire, which you just wrap around your coil or the wire going to your spark plug. And I'll show you exactly how that's done. But if you ever wired up an old hour meter or had one wired up on your mower and you were wondering what that cord was going around your um, coil there, that was something that was uh, detecting the spark. So it's exactly what this is gonna do and that's gonna let us know that our machine is running. All right guys, so I've never done this install. This is my first one and we're gonna do it live here with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect my battery. I've already loosened that up. Most of these nuts and bolts on these batteries for the mowers are an 11 millimeter. At least that's what I use. There you go. Probably gonna take me longer to find that than it is to hook it up. First thing I'll hook up here is our positive. Comes with the terminals right on it. Doesn't get much easier than this. Get that snug and then I'll hook up our negative here. Find that nut. Go ahead and tighten those two down.
And that's all there is to that part. Next thing we're gonna have to do is put a zip tie on this box or this brain here and it's got lights flashing so you can see that it is working. I'm just gonna put this over here with the rest of this wiring harness. I'm gonna try to set it somewhere where I can see these lights. All right guys, so the last step, we've got to wrap this, like I said, around the coil wire. So you unplug your spark plug, you probably don't even have to unplug it, but I'm gonna unplug it, and I'll just start at the top, and just wrap this around here as tight as I can by hand. Plug your spark plug back in, and we should be all hooked up. So of course every application is different guys, but like I said, I've never installed one of these, and that's how quickly I just did it. I think it took me five or six minutes, so if you know your way around a toolbox, if you know how to use a wrench, uh, you can pretty much get this one done by yourself. So it's not like you have to take it into the shop and schedule a time to get it in or anything like that. You can literally do this in a couple of minutes while you're doing your daily maintenance or your weekly maintenance, depending on how much you mow. Or if it's your skid loader, you can just do it when you get home real quick. You can do it on a job site. This is really, really easy to do, guys. So don't be scared to do it. Like I said, you don't have to take it in. You don't have to schedule any time, nothing like that. You just order it, slap it on. And I mentioned that I was gonna put this right here so I could see it, so I could see these lights. Now that's just because it's me operating it uh, or my brother operating it, so I'm always gonna be with this machine. Uh, but if you're not with it and you don't want your guys to know that these are on the machines or you don't want a thief to know whatever, if you wanna hide it for whatever reason or if you just wanna hide it simply so it looks clean and it doesn't look like it's there, you can put it anywhere. You don't have to see these lights, um, but it's just a good way to make sure that everything is working like it should. And now I know some of you guys don't like to install stuff, you don't like to do maintenance on your own machines, I understand that completely. Uh, and for those of you guys that are in that boat, check with your local Briggs and Stratton dealers at who will be able to set this up for you. And some of you may not be a matter of wanting to do it, maybe that you just have 20 or 30 mowers and you simply don't have the time to sit down and get all this uh, set up and, and get everyone individually hooked up. So if that's you, like I said, check with your local Briggs and Stratton dealer and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. All right guys, so I'm gonna do the FW35 real quick uh, just to show you a different application, pretty much the same thing, but we'll hook up the battery first. Like I said, 11 millimeter is what all of my mower batteries come off with. Up the positive first. Pretty simple, guys. Red goes with red, black goes with black. Unless your mower's been tampered with. So easy a caveman could do it. Again, I'll pop this coil wire off, start at the top or by the shroud, and just work my way down.
plug your coil wire back in, and then I'll snug these battery terminals up. And then what I'm gonna do on this one is just zip tie all this excess together and go ahead and leave it under this cover here. Just like that, another mower done. All right, and for the vehicles, guys, this is literally all you have to do. It just plugs right into your OBD port. And voila, you can see the lights over here. So it is connected. I'll just plug that piece in there. All right guys, so as you saw on the gas engines, it is not very difficult at all. You only have three connections. Uh, and like I said, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, your Briggs and Stratton dealer can uh, hook you up with someone who can do it. And on the diesels, it is a little bit more difficult. For your third wire, you don't have that spark plug or you don't have your coil wire, so you gotta find a constant 12 volt power source, which isn't a big deal, but it does get a little bit more uh, complicated. So if you don't feel comfortable doing that, like I said, Briggs dealer can, can help you out and find somebody to take care of that for you. And Jason here is going to be following up along on this video, uh, going through the comments, checking things out. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave your contact information down in the comments and he'll do his best to get back with you. And the only thing I would say is for you guys that are out there looking to grow your business <clears throat> or if you're having issues uh, with tracking, wanting to know where your equipment is, if you, if you can't afford right now on hiring somebody to monitor your crews, this is real time, it's also historical data. So you'll be able to see where all your assets are, all your mowers, trucks, bobcats, you name it. Also in the snow business, when you're in the middle of the night trying to make decisions and you have four or five trucks out, you can see that real time. So just remember, when you guys are out there in the field and you're trying to figure it out, figure out an easier way to manage your fleet, Info Hub has got you covered. Yep, like Jason said, there's a lot of times where Info Hub is going to help you out. If you're in the middle of a snowstorm and you got five trucks out and you need to cover one property, you can instantly you can go to your live data and you can see who is closest to that property and send them on their way. You don't have to call five people anymore. You can do all this before they even know that that other property needs to be done. So there's a lot of ways, and like he said, you know, there's a lot of companies that will try to hire someone to take care of all these things. To check on all the crews to make sure that things are getting done like they're supposed to you can almost eliminate that with with info hub if you had you know Absolutely. with the right setup you can almost eliminate someone's job which isn't what you're trying to do but it definitely makes you more efficient and it's basically just insurance for you it's and like he said it's historical too so it's not like you have to be sitting there at your computer all the time watching exactly what's going on you can go back three days three weeks three months three years I mean, as long you, as you have it hooked up, yeah, you, you, can, you can go back as far as you've had it hooked you up. You can go back. And another thing that I wanted to mention that we were just talking about is a question that I had for him was, well, can we take it off of here when we get a new mower and put it on there? He said, absolutely. All you have to do is go into your dashboard on your Info Hub account mm -hmm. and, yep. and just swap the <laughs> mower. So uh, very simple. And once you once you buy it, I mean, it's yours. You can. You can take it off of the mower, you could take it out of the truck and put it in your new truck. So it uh, should be a one-time purchase unless something bad happens. And the other thing is if you're mowing year-round, uh, eight, nine months out of the year, whatever it may be, and you, know, you have snow equipment, four-wheelers, like we said earlier, if it's got power, battery, spark, you can move it. So if you need to move it from a, a mower to a four-wheeler, a uh, spreader, something like that, it can be done. Snow blower. S snow blower. So, your, your equipment that you're not using at that time doesn't have to be just sitting there with it on there. You can move it over to equipment that you're utilizing at that time of the year. Um, I've known Alex for a long time and, and we've worked together in the past and, and uh, you know, Alex has got it going on. He, he sees the future, he sees what, what's going to be of the landscape industry in the next five years. Um, <clears throat> he's getting ahead of the ball game. You know, a lot of people can decide on, on getting out in front of something or, or kind of being at the tail end. So um, if you're having any of those issues, if you're having any of those kind of uh, pain points where you don't really know what the next step is, contact us. Like I said, put your information in the comments below. 
Um, I'll reach out to you. I can talk to you. I'll come visit you if you need help with stuff. So. Yep, and that's what this is all about. Like you said, you know, growing, trying to, trying to look at the next step, trying to take the next step, and just be at the next level and and be on top of what's going on in this industry. That's what this is all about. That's what Info Hub is. It's going to be the future. You can either get on board now and and you know be someone who's in it early and understand what's going on as it evolves, as it changes. And there's obviously like everything else. There's going to be. There's going to be other devices that come out. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be competition. But if you, you know, if you get in early on these things, you can figure out what works and what doesn't, and you can really start to reap the benefits right away. There's a lot of people that reach out to me with growing pain type questions. Just how do you take it to the next step? How do you start your second crew? How do you do this? You know, how do you get to the next level? And I'm not saying that this is going to take you to the next level by any means, but it is a step in the right direction and it allows you, like he said, it allows you to, to delegate a little bit, to have five trucks out there and to not have to totally panic and be calling them at all times. If you get worried, if you are getting stressed out, wondering where your guys are, you simply get on your computer and bam, there you are, there, or there they are, I should say, and this is where they're at, this is what they're doing. This is how fast they're driving. It'll literally tell you how fast the piece of equipment is moving, whether that be a mower or a truck. So instead of having to constantly call your employee and basically let them know that you're micromanaging or that you're having a hard time you know, letting the reins go or letting someone else take the reins, you can do this stuff kind of behind the scenes and it'll help you, I think, in both ways. It'll let your employee know that you're giving them a little bit of leeway, letting them do their own thing, but at the same time, you can still look on your computer or you can look on the back end and you can know what's going on without having to blow them up. <clears throat> All right, guys, so like Jason said, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything whatsoever, leave it down in the comments, leave your contact information down there, and he'll be getting a hold of you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.